hello and welcome to tech select my name is linus and in today's video we are looking into deepin os now deepin has a new release and that is uh, version uh, 20.2.2 and we're going to be having a look at it right here on this channel to see if actually it is worth your time right so switching over here to the pc you can see we already have our operating system installed uh, over there so we just have to log in for the first time and then we get to see um what does it feel like how does it actually do behave now those that don't know deep in os deep in os is a debian based uh, operating uh, system distro uh, and this one here is made in china uh, to be very particular in wuhan in china um so many things do come out from dimension wuhan uh, but yes so uh, deep in os originates from wuhan uh, that's the that city where it was created in china so it is a china based uh linux distro but this doesn't mean that it is any uh, lacking in whatever way but just looking at it the overall outlook here when you log in you have a welcome video now uh here it says choose the desktop mode we have fashion mode and efficient mode uh let's just see what the difference is fashion mode you have the task but basically just like hovering over here in the middle and then in efficient mode it sits all the way at the bottom of your screen which is something really nice i think let's go for efficient mode as it does actually uh help us out now we have uh this effect mode and normal mode effect mode um you have it you know with this whole translucency all that and then normal mode it's all just uh, the plain white i think we'll go with effect mode because it gives it that nice translucency that i do like especially it gives me a nostalgia and gives me memories of windows 7 kind of now you get to choose your icon theme uh, right now it's uh, on blossom there's blossom classic uh blossom dark i think let's just go with blossom maybe okay let's go for blossom classic because you know the play icon all uh, right that does look good the one for media now just looking at it from just normal looks deep in already looks like it does look like a crossbreed between mac and windows why i'm saying it's a crossbreed between mac and windows is you can just see the layout here at the bottom here the taskbar does have a lot of resemblance to windows a kind of taskbar even the positioning of the i would got a call that the, the stack menu over here to the side uh, does have a very quirky resemblance to the windows but then also the the whole glassy theme going there does have a feeling of a mac kind of feeling right there now talking about its resemblance to windows uh, let's just go over here to the start menu as you can see uh when i go over here i am already greeted with a familiar looking menu it does look like the normal start menu on windows and when you go to all categories everything is well laid out music video graphics the usual setup for those that are used to the windows operating system now this here is just a very added advantage in that you just get login and you can easily figure out what goes where and how do you get uh, started now i did advantage of dipping linux uh, right here for those that are having uh, graphics cards that do run uh, nvidia the nvidia driver will come already pre-installed with your operating system so it's out of the box it will be already uh, good to go now i just wanted to uh, highlight this also this here is a very quick resemblance to windows when you do right click on the desktop and you see you have new folder new document uh, something that is normal icon size sort icons by name type all those good things and then this is the same place where you'll find the display settings and wallpaper and screen server settings this is actually very resemblance to what you know you find on the windows and it's just something really interesting so if you're a windows user it's something just jump in and you're good to go now i must give the pin props because i must say their wallpaper collection i think is one of the most beautiful wallpaper collections i have seen in quite a long while the wallpapers are just interestingly first of all they are sharp they have a nice crystal sharpness to them and they are just too nice there's something fluidly nice about them this is just good to like them so let's uh, apply this here as our wallpaper and let's see how that looks as you can see this just looks very beautiful way you on our desktop i like this about this now something uh, else to highlight about this deep in linux here is as they have been growing they have been growing their catalog of uh, default applications now as you can just see uh, right here all of the taskbar by itself here we already have uh the control center calendar um music app you have the album app so already these will come pre-installed now if we go here to let's say all categories um let's say internet wise you have a browser and mail and all that there 
but uh, let's just go further in here when you go to let's say music you have the music app like i said earlier let's go back if you go to video you do have screen capture movie and camera now very few os already do come with uh, screen capture and that's something actually that is uh, good to highlight over there now um the app store where basically you'd be getting your applications from is one that has like a hit or miss kind of situation because first of all uh, most of the apps here are best of debian and uh, sometimes they do not update so frequently because they're running on uh, an older version of debian which is more or less because i think they picked it because of stability but they do run on an older kernel of debian so definitely that will be disturbing you a little bit but of course you can always update the uh, repositories and you can definitely uh, get you know the latest apps but just off here you can see open shot that i have always used for uh, editing videos is already installed this beautiful audacity all these are already here now where i said it is quite a hit or miss is uh, here already as you can see this now some applications will come originally best uh, on the chinese version like i said this is an operating system that's coming from china so definitely their original um app uh, repositories are coming in from china so uh that is a hit or a miss so sometimes the apps are in chinese or even if you get the english version it will take quite a while to download because it's trying to pick uh that download all the way from a server somewhere in china although the server lists are going so it's a good thing uh, once in a while now you shall get most of the apps that you do need off here straight off the app store it's well organized i won't be talking too much about that because everything is more or less self-explanatory in terms of that but then let's go over here and i show you uh the other thing that i kind of didn't really like about it is right here in their browser now if i come to the browser and search anything let's say i search for the word garage if i search for the word garage let's say by default it's taking me to a chinese best search engine which is baidu now i don't understand a single word <laughs> of anything that is here so by default their browser will be running you know uh, off their chinese piggyback so it will be giving you chinese search results everything in chinese words but the workaround for this here is just uh, ignore this uninstall this browser and install maybe um, a browser like google chrome or firefox and that will definitely give you the english versions of whatever it is you're looking for but other than that in terms of being an operating system for you to daily use as a daily runner it actually is one of those very good ones because it is as of now it is stable the older releases were not very stable it will crash a lot i remember i was running one a couple of months ago and it kept on crashing but with this new release i feel it is been revised and it's doing quite well now um just quick looking through here the calendar does look good big chunky for you to see everything uh, there is a notification pen over the side which is translucent which is just nice it does have a nice uh, feeling and look to it now the other thing i'd really like to just look through here is um, when you do come to display settings when we go back to display settings and come all the way down to personalization it does give you quite a good amount of personalization like you saw when we're logging in we managed to change uh, the type of icons we wanted the type of cursor but now we can go into settings and even push that a little bit more now here right now we're running the light theme you can put it on automatic mode for it to pick the light and the dark theme depending on what time of day it is and then you can just go straight out and go for the dark theme it does look amazing i must give you that now the accent color this is a determined like now this blue you can change it maybe to yellow or whatever your preference is depending on what you really want whatever rocks your boat let's go back to the light now you can also change the icon theme like we did in the beginning now if i go back to vintage everything changes it even affects the you know the start menu at the bottom and that is no big deal so let's just go back for papyrus which i think is the default i like this because it's kind of quirky it gives me a start button that kind of looks like on a window uh, right there now you can change your um, cursor from this deep in uh, default cursor and put something that looks like this one this is at white tower something like that this gives it a cursor that actually has a very very good resemblance with the one uh, you find on mac os so it actually is uh, something very interesting uh, right there so everything about deep in os is basically that in a nutshell it is one of those good operating systems especially if you're switching over from windows uh it will be something very easy for you to use i've been running this for quite a while now and i should say i am actually impressed with what these guys have uh, come up with it is 
quite snappy the drivers did come already pre-installed from my nvidia graphics card everything did feel just you know at right where it meant to be now um the few drawbacks that i found like i said earlier the chinese language everywhere that was quite annoying for me and also the software uh priorities here of course you know it's chinese based so their priorities definitely the chinese market so this here was kind of uh disturbing but well with the updating of the uh, repositories that did uh change everything now uh right before i go i should uh, tell you this being debian best then definitely um if you come over here to terminal and then we say uh sudo apt uh get updates right there um there we go i like the fact that it brings this nice warning across you receive the usual lecture from your local system administrator <laughs> with great power comes great responsibility it's something interesting so let's just put in a password here and then as you can see uh, the, uh there you go the packages are actually uh, updating if you like this kind of content just go right now hit the subscribe button and also uh, drop us a comment at the bottom there just saying i have subscribed and i shall make it a point uh, to reply uh, to you right there in the comments and do let me know what your views are on it uh, if you have tried it out what is it uh, do is it working for you does it work for you uh, but in terms of my end everything does seem uh, very well I thank you so much for watching this video. I shall see you in the next video. Bye.